Uh, well, what well. is going on in the world right now? Yeah. Uh -huh. We have our news plugs right here. Yeah. So we're going to be getting story by story. If you'd like to interact with us, white 54 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 54 on Facebook. Don't forget to leave the hashtag as well, why in the morning and social Friday, and tell us where you're watching us from so we can know to make our happy, our happy, our happy, and we can give you a shout out as well. County in general, represent your county. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's about time we let you know what's happening like in the in the world right now. So we have to acknowledge the fact that Mr. Emmanuel Macron, mm. yeah, mm. honorable, is in the country mm. and that's the French president. Right. <laughs> Macron. Macron. Well, <laughs> I bumped into a station called France 24 and they, their accents were so well done. Mm -hmm. But those presenters, I was like, damn, I maybe <laughs> I should try something. So Emmanuel Macron is in town mm -hmm. and yes, um, they talked about integration business. Um, in fact, I think there's a video you can see he was given a guard of honor by the president mm -hmm. so yeah well this is a multi video yes right, yes i wonder if this happens in france as well <laughs> yes oh. lazima if you're a head of state lazima oh. you're, sure you're, you're, you're welcome that. come mm. on man mm. and yeah. you know the interesting thing about emmanuel macron is that he's a youth he looks like a young man, uh -huh. you know. But um, among the things that were talked about, I'd like to mention is a commuter train because our President Uhuru Kenyatta uh, was putting uh, pressure on uh, the president because there's a French farm that's supposed to be in charge of a commuter train that mm -hmm. will connect Nairobi Central Station. I don't know if you saw the meme that came out of this picture right here. Which picture? Uh, the picture of uh, Uru Kenyatta, the president. Oh, Uru driving Emmanuel. <laughs> so you saw the meme. Yeah? We are not going to talk about the meme, but check it. I loved my Guinea out. I need, right. to see, I, I need to see that meme. Eh? Wait, wait. <laughs> you need to see that meme. So this is the, the Pujo that is going to be assembled in Kenya. Imagine. All right, so this car is going to be assembled in Kenya and uh, exported to other countries in Africa as well. That's good. We're finally mm -hmm. becoming a manufacturing zone. Uh, yes, and the big four agenda is, yes. coming, is coming to life now. Yes, uh -huh. and they also talked about that specific train, which is mm -hmm. from Nairobi Central Station to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport mm -hmm. via Eastland. So they just want to, the president, uh, Macron, had said that um, by the time it's 2021, hopefully the commuter train should be done. Mm -hmm. So we're also looking... An election. Yes. But it's like we are going to have two elections yes. anyway. So, uh -huh. so 2021, we'll yeah. be going to the airport uh, via train. Yes. Can All you right, imagine? Nice. Uh -huh. Tumechoka na kusachi wa kuile geti ya ukubwa, <laughs> by the way. So, uh, uh -huh. tutakua tunengia na train direct. Uh -huh. So, you are searched at the train station. Mm -hmm. Siku wa airport, ama na mami. I know, I think it's also true. You know the way the Mombasa road, where our airport is, is mm -hmm. like literally on a very, very notorious road for uh -huh. traffic. Uh -huh. So you can imagine like if you're late, even like if you have a flight, you have to go like literally almost three hours or mm -hmm. four hours before the actual time. I think the commuter train is going to help people in terms of if mm -hmm. you have other things to do and you don't really have to keep thinking about traffic and missing your flight, mm -hmm. perhaps you can use the train direct. Right. And I uh, think another reason mm. why they did that was also to help like decongest yes, this, Nairobi. Yes, this is a yes. plan to decongest the mm -hmm. city. Yeah. Mm. I like I what President Uru is city. doing in terms of infrastructure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The roads are looking better mm -hmm. in Nairobi. I've mm -hmm. traveled to some counties, not all of them, mm -hmm. and they're looking quite good. Despite mm -hmm. easy to the dams in Afanyika, a mm -hmm. lot is happening as well, and people uh, don't really focus on the good things that are happening. Yeah. Uh, we should give them 50-50. Yes. The good things that are happening, yes. uh, and the dams are well just give them some light so uh no, they yeah. are doing good things and uh -huh. by the way it's not like i don't have anything to i just didn't want to say much about it because mm -hmm. I, I don't know i feel like we need to stop um asking for aid from previous colonial people mm -hmm. that anyone that has colonized africa uh -huh. i don't mm -hmm. think them helping us in any way shape or form mm -hmm. giving back would be very difficult i don't think it's something to trust i wish they could call out maybe to canada or some mm -hmm. somewhere where we don't have a history with uh -huh. i feel very un and actually a lot of people share that sentiment if right. you have a history but there's but a saying that goes because like better because the devil. then yes, because i would I rather about to say that no mm. because we don't yeah. really know that devil uh -huh. actually if because the reason why we're signing deals is because we don't know that devil uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, but I'm you see, for, China, I'm, I'm China, for Kenya's development, but I'm not happy about China this. China did not colonize us, not but they are slowly this. colonizing the entire Africa. Yes, so that I is mean, true. And yeah. because we don't know that it's happening. Yes. You see and the now. same thing. I, yes, so we can't just go no. around uh, trusting you. Yes, people. that's what I'm. Yes, that's true. Yeah. That's true. But then what I'm trying to say is, mm -hmm. you can't also go around trusting people who have a history mm -hmm. of enmity on the continent. Okay. All right. Yes, that is that's a fact right there. Yes. Uh, that's a fact. But uh, business, mm -hmm. it doesn't stop us from doing business with them. The other people do business with. 
But we, let's move along. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not just. Joy is against colonialism. New colonialism. colonialism. That's yeah. the one. Uh, following That's the, the footsteps of Ngugu <laughs> Atiyomo. And uh, what, what's, what's the son's name? Uh, Mukoma. Yeah. Wangogi. Yeah. All right. Anyway, on to our next story. So our next story actually comes from right here in Kenya again, mm -hmm. yes. uh, from the Kenya Pipeline Company. Mm -hmm. The name of Mr. Joe Sang and mm -hmm. Gloria Rabai Kafafa, the mm -hmm. company secretary, and Joe Sang is actually the managing director. Mm -hmm. What has happened is that they're both arra being arraigned in court because mm -hmm. they, there has been 51 million liters mm -hmm. of jet fuel missing, mm -hmm. which Ooh. amounts to about 5 billion Kenya shillings. Missing. How, do you, how many trucks do you need to and store 51? Million and meters. make it disappear. That's <laughs> magic. Exactly. Houdini has nothing on Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. That's magic mm. right there. Yes. But, uh, it's really worrying. One day we'll wake up and find Kenyans have committed suicide. <laughs> like we'll find a massacre. People will of be suicide depressed. Because these stories are depressing. Yeah. This is 5 billion. We had 61 billion. Mm. Uh, so 5 billion has been added to that uh, total that we had. No, no, speaking, only that, uh, speaking of the fact that you've said five billion, wait, I think the, the other story that we have also <laughs> pinches on depression amongst Kenyans. So I don't know, Joy, I wanted to finish the story before I mm -hmm. oh, change before, the story. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just feeling, um, I don't know what I can say about this, mm -hmm. but basically it's a scandal. It's just, um, all this fuel and all this money has been siphoned from the KPC, mm -hmm. Kenya mm -hmm. Pipeline Company. And all I can think is, at, at some point you have to ask yourself, mm -hmm. um, because what makes you steal that much money? Mm -hmm. It's greed. Yeah. Yes. And then if it's going around so much, then mm -hmm. you have to ask yourself, uh, what kind of people are in this country? And not even that. What is it that like they are foreseeing kind of in, our, in our future that they feel yeah. they need to steal this amount of money? Mm. You see, that's... It's, a, just a, it's nothing about... It's never about the future. Are we that green. hopeless? Like, is the economy that hopeless yeah, that people know, are jipangered for gen so almost six it means, generations? It means the economy is doing so well and they're at the top there, so they understand the finances of the government, uh. so they know if I steal five billion, we still have hundreds of billions. Yeah, but okay. we're in debt. Yeah, that's true, nobody's we're going to notice. We're in debt, yeah. though. We're we in debt. don't have but hundreds right, of billions. I, I feel like people, uh, people are starting to say that uh, mm -hmm. in this fight against corruption, mm -hmm. our community is being targeted, our community is being targeted. Oh, yeah. Yes, but they forget that Kenyan politics is really tribal. Yeah? Mm -hmm. When the president is from a certain uh, tribe, and the VPs from a certain tribe, most of the uh, uh, public offices are going <laughs> to go to these particular tribes. Mm -hmm. So you can't find people who are not in office being involved in corruption. Yes. The people who are in these offices are the people who are going to be uh, involved in corruption. You need and facilitators, Barry. Yes. So you must pick your people, you put them there, yes, and then which you is facilitate the wrong way to go. your left. The youth of Kenya, this station is for the youth. Yes, and yeah. we're talking to the youth of Kenya. Mm -hmm. Just be wise, man. We have mm -hmm. been played so many times. Yep. We have been played so many times. Mm -hmm. And it saddens me mm -hmm. when people with degrees, PhDs and masters still talk pity politics. You know? It really disappoints me. <laughs> yes. But then also speaking of disappointment amongst mm -hmm. the young people of this mm -hmm. country, I, I don't know if you guys saw, there was a trending story uh, from Uhuru Park. I remember clicking Uhuru Park on Twitter because I was wondering, why is Uhuru Park trending? Is yeah. there a function? <laughs> and, I did, and I missed it. About what was, was happening. Was it renovated? or? <laughs> Nothing. To my surprise, uh -huh. I found a story about a 20-year-old girl called Rebecca uh -huh. Tino who gave birth in Uhuru Park at uh -huh. night. This was after she had been evicted from a lodging that she was staying in that she's supposed to pay 50 shillings a day. Uh -huh. So she was evicted. The for 50 shillings. She had just 50 shillings. Imagine. She had been evicted and she was heavily pregnant. So uh -huh. her water broke when she was trying to go and, and sleep. Where is the father? Imagine, she said that she's not in good terms, the fathers, they've left each other. The father of the baby, I'm not talking about the father. Oh, yes, fine. you know, that's what I'm telling you, they're not in good terms while well, you're trying and stuff. So I don't know what exactly the backstory is, but she got rescued by uh -huh. a good Samaritan called the Red Cross. So the Red mm -hmm. Cross came through and um, and uh, were able to take her to hospital and stuff. But the reason why it was trending was because the Kenyans on Twitter were so mad. Uh -huh. they, were th they were saying that um, isn't maternity supposed to be free, first yes, of all? Yeah, that was in yes. the manifesto. Yes, and then also just last weekend we had the Beyond Zero... Um, launched by the first lady and um it was it was it was about giving better uh, maternity health care for mothers and so you can imagine like so people have donated money or mechanga uh -huh. for that and then we are having a crisis a like this yeah one. exactly uh -huh. so now we, it has also brought this uh, limelight on the on the on the universal health care 
a mission as yeah. we have as a country because if we can't mm. take care of our mothers we can't you know All right. so uh, and if, when it, if it reaches a point where someone can't yeah. even pay 50 bob for even 50 lodging, shillings yeah. the poverty that you can imagine that, that's yes. what i'm about and to say yeah. the poverty is so we yes. 61 billion yeah. or 62 billion meanwhile yes. someone can't pay 50 yes. bob and imagine then you remember when we were talking about uh the mm -hmm. uh, kcp and kcse registrations mm -hmm. that were cancelled because yeah. of uh, fake yeah. birth certificates yeah. this is how we end up with kids yes without, without birth, birth certificates, birth certificates. Yes. so tell us what you think about these stories yeah uh white five four channel on twitter white five four underscore channel on instagram and white five four on mm -hmm. facebook don't mm -hmm. forget to tell us where you're watching us from so we can give you a shout out to represent your county yes. and then hashtag is why in the morning mm -hmm. hashtag is social friday mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wait so can we finish on a good note mm -hmm. please tell yes. me your story is a happy one it's a happy one it's okay a happy then one. it's okay <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we finish on two good notes mm -hmm. yeah it is a happy one mm -hmm. because um there was a competition in south africa mm -hmm. for huawei mm -hmm. ict mm -hmm. it was a regional finals mm -hmm. and it was being held in Johannesburg, South Africa, mm -hmm. and guess what? Josie. Yeah, <laughs> Josie. Uh -huh. And so what happened is that Kenya, our wonderful country of Kenya, with mm -hmm. the brilliant minds of our youth that we have, mm -hmm. came second place in the whole Ooh, world. Mm -hmm. yeah. Second place in the whole yeah, world. So that is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's, That's yes. another one. 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 Another Unfortunately, not unfortunately, mm -hmm. but we we did tie with Angola. Uh -huh. They came second place. So. Right. We can yes. always win together. It's, it's okay. Cool. Yeah, we can share the victory. Yeah. Right. Share the victory. So, uh, so Kenya that's is undoubtedly, uh, undisputably, mm -hmm. a tech hub. Yeah, mm. and ICT is not an easy field. Uh -huh. So by the time you're number two, by yes. the you've done well. Uh, yeah. yeah, we've got Which some brainies really up in here. Yes. Allow me to actually mention their names because uh -huh. I'm Please very do. proud of you Ooh, guys. Yes. I am so proud of you guys. <laughs> so drum roll, here we go. So DJ Khalifa, you're ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yes. Let's Congratulations go and thank you very much to mm -hmm. one Mr. Richard Wanjohi. Ooh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Maraguri Mwai. Mm -hmm. And the last and final lady is Zipora Washira. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, thank as well. Yeah, thank All you right. for taking us, mm -hmm. Mother. And we had a Kalidi up I'm in so there. Happy. Yes. Women were represented. Uh -huh. Don't call her Kalidi, please. She is She's a woman, woman of okay, power. That's true, that's true. <laughs> forgive, me, forgive me, Miss. <laughs> forgive me, Miss. <laughs> to right. Anyway, Wait. white 254 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 54 on Facebook is the way to reach us. Don't forget the hashtags why in the morning. Don't forget the hashtags social Friday. Today's edition is all about working Fitness. out. Fitness. Mm -hmm. mm. Fitness. Fitness. And to work yes, out. we have yes, amazing. Uh, That's what it's uh, about. We have amazing guests in studio. Uh, we have Miss Samba, mm -hmm. fitness enthusiast, yes. trainer. She's yes. about to tell us how it goes down mm -hmm. in this line of business. People yes. are really curious about this. Uh, we also have John Zent, who's mm -hmm. a former rugby player, but now uh, is a fitness guy or a fitness trainer uh, so yes we have a lot lined up for you and towards the end we are going to be having some laughing sessions you know what we are we do it on friday uh, so yeah keep it locked stay tuned uh -huh. speaking of, uh, of laughing at the end uh -huh. yes. we need to laugh at another kaledi there was something you had yes <laughs> there was a certain man in makwene who was mm. busted in a somali house dressed in a woman's outfit, oh I don't know God, if we can yes. get the, 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 the clip over here. Yes, what was Makweni Mpo? Makweni, yes, Makweni, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yes, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> <laughs> is half Marquenia. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. People from Mukambani. You know when we were talking about how our Shabab is Masharia, Mutuko. Half Marquenia and half Somali. Masai is half Marquenia and half Kajadia. Kajadia. Okay. Kajadia. But anyway, yeah, I think if you can look at the clips, I don't know what was going on in this particular scenario, but we have just come to laugh. Okay? So it's about time we tap out from this intro, but you just like make sure you check it out. that guy that it's easier out there for a woman. So, <laughs> it ain't easy out there for a woman. Especially for a Somali woman. Yes, what are you doing, Brian? You're just making your life harder. It reminds me of this series called Fauda. That uh -huh. is how uh, terrorists uh, disguise. Yes, yes. They, they disguise oh, themselves. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that in such dresses. Yes. I love I can dress even on a boat. <laughs> Buy a son. Anyway, <laughs> it's very <laughs> more on every social That's media cool. platform. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good every social media platform. White Fair oh channel God. on Twitter, White Fair underscore channel on Instagram, and mm -hmm. White Fair on Facebook. Hashtag Why in the Morning, hashtag Social Friday. Please interact with us. Please talk to us. Your views, your comments, and suggestions are invited.
That's right. And please look forward to all the interviews that you guys are about to. And actually, it's going to be very interesting. And I'm, I'm looking forward to especially Miss Samba mm -hmm. because I want to learn a few things about, you know, fitness. Mm -hmm. It's time to start getting the body up oh. in this health. Yeah. Me, I'm waiting for Gideon Onoka as well because we are going to talk about men. Very much as today, we are going to put you in a very tight spot when it comes to fitness. Please, please. So there's yeah. nothing, so there's yeah. nothing yeah. like two times well, over. And then, and then to top it <laughs> all off, Julie Machacha is going to finish with some acrobats in studio. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? So guys, you make some space mm -hmm. at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so VDJ Khalifa. Yeah. Are you ready? Come on, come on. Are you ready for a big tone? Yeah. Song of the week? Lazima. Take it away. Yeah. Y254 Imagine